Hello dear visitors of my YouTube channel Retro Photo House. Today I want to show you another review of very nice, very famous lens, but it will it will be a comparative review. I will compare two very popular popular lenses. This is modification of Helios lenses. So here I have Helios 44 early version with 13 blades iris and here I have very popular and mass uh, production um, Helios 44 2 with 8 blades iris. Very often people asking me what are the difference between them and uh, which one is better and in this review I want to ask or uh, want to reply to all your questions. So let's start by early Helios 44 lens. So this is exact or almost exact copy of pre-war Carl Zeiss Biotar German lens. Uh, basically it was uh, in production in 50s on the it was um, the beginning of production is it was on the uh, beginning of 50s and uh, all the decade it was in production and normally it was produced in KMZ Krasnogorsk mechanical plant which is known for very good optical uh, for very good quality of products so and Helios 42 for two is the further development of this lens and there was some technical um, solutions which lead to the cheaper because this one it was produced in the mass more than one million of copies were produced uh, during Soviet era and uh, I'd I would say it is a cheaper version of this one. So first of all, uh, the it has the older, it has 13 blades iris, but also there is a version later, a bit later version with eight blade iris, also in aluminium body. And this one is a eight blades iris about uh, optics. So very often this one, it has red P. Uh, marking on it um, claiming that there is uh, some kind of special enlightenment of it and uh, even the not red p version here as you may see there is no red p it still features the um, a coating a better coating here as you may see there is no coating or maybe just si or some basic single coating coating on the glasses and this one seems to be better in fact and further in the in the test shots you will see the difference what about technical specification of both so there are roughly the same here maximum aperture is 2 minimum is 16 here we have the same shows the same thing 2 and 16 uh, minimal focusing distance here is a uh, half a meter and here we have the same thing so it's the same um, focusing ring turns smoothly maybe 300 degrees and here is the same uh, what concerns the um, filter thread it's simple both of them except 48 millimeters filter this lens has angle of view of 40 degrees and it was designed for full frame film it means 36 on 24 millimeters so it can be used very well on full frame uh, digital uh, cameras and uh, resolution power of this lens is 35 35 uh, lines per millimeter in the center and 14 milli lines per millimeter on the edges and uh, this one 
it also uh, has um, 40, 40 degrees uh, of angle of view and uh, also that has the it uh, fits the full frame uh, digital bodies or film cameras and uh, it has increased resolution power 38 mil lines per millimeter on the center and uh, 20 lines per millimeter on the edges what about weight i'll show you A little bit more than 200 grams this one the same thing so this is a pretty pretty similar weight and size and mount here the older version has m39 mount and here it has classic m42 mount so if you ever want to use this lens for example on digital uh, single reflex cameras uh, you need to put the step up ring here I have for example 39 for 42 millimeters and flange focal distance here is 45.2 millimeters and here 45.5 millimeters so you can in this when put the step ring you can screw inside the M42 to your camera adapter and it will work more properly more or less this one and this one and very often people get confused about m39 mount they are thinking that m39 leica 39 mm, adapter will work with this lens not because it will not work because here as i said the flange focal 45.2 millimeters and leica standard is has uh, 28.8 so if you will just put a little Leica to your camera adapter it will not work properly attention uh, so uh, uh, what about the accessibility on on eBay of this lens this one is more expensive generally maybe two or even three times sometime sometimes and uh, as it's very very old lens because it was in maybe all the or generally all the copies they have 50 60 years old it's hard to uh, find this lens uh, without cleaning scratches and uh, marks and if there are only few scratches it makes no uh, effect on image rendition but if there are a lot of uh, it results in contrast rendition mm, decrease and uh, you will have just to correct the contrast into the software and um, what what I would like to tell more so mm, basically I will test this lens for you using the Nikon camera because me I'm readjusting this lens for Nikon users because me I am also a Nikon user I like this system very much and uh, I will take for example this is all these lenses are already readjusted using the latte machine and uh, I take here my Nikon D600 and I can show you how it looks like when I mount the early Helios 42 sometimes it look, look weird on the um, on the camera body but it worth to, to consider this lens because it makes a decent um, a decent performance and here simple helios 442 also here i put and it like it looks better really with black finish and black camera so it's not so weird so now i will just take these two lenses and make the test samples for you so you can 
and just assess their performance by yourself. Second part of my review where I will show some photo samples and assess with you how the boss how both lines are performing. So first scene I would like to show you of course it's a um, bokeh rendition. So let's let's uh, start with a lens uh, at wide open. Uh, so here here we have Helios 44 with 13 blades Iris and here is the ordinary uh, Helios 442. This is it wide open. So generally as you, as you may see uh, 13 blades Iris and 8 blades Iris are performing exactly in the same manner. Let's top down to 2.8. 2.8 Helios 44 and 2.8 Helios 44.2. So Helios 44 shows circles and Helios 44.2 starting just a little bit to form a octagons as a bokeh shape. But here is still not very very clear, very not, not very visible, but a little bit you can notice. Let's move and stop down to 4. Helos 44 13 blades and Helos 44 2. As you may see here, Helios 44 13 blades shows uh, the circles and Helios 44 2, as you may see here, starts to show clear octagons as a bouquet shape. You can assess it by yourself. Normal circle Helios 44 and octagons Helios 44 2. Let's go ahead and stop lens to 5.6 Helios 44 and 5.6 Helios 44 2. The difference is really noticeable. Clear octagons and just a little bit worse than previous sh shoots but still it makes i would say a circle and helios 442 makes clear octagons and the last test it lands stop down to eight one and second and you may clearly see how octagons looks in Helios 44 2 lens and how it looks like Helios the photo taken with Helios 44 13 blades Iris. Here we have another scene and uh, it shows lens performance in counter light condition. Helios 44 13 blades and ordinary Helios 44 2. As you may notice, the contrast is by far better in uh, image rendered by Helios 44 13 blades. There is when we will zoom the images, you may see also. So this is uh, this is at wide open, as you may see not only the contrast but also the sharpness is better uh, in case of Helios 44 13 blades Iris. Let's move to another scene. Uh, so we will have here uh, just a simple photo Helios 44 13 blades and Helios 44 2 there is no major uh, difference between both 
except maybe a bit of sharpness uh, maybe not so this is another scene let's move further Helios 44 13 laser is Helios 44 2 I do not notice some noticeable um, difference between these two maybe you do just a little bit more of sharpness Helios 44 with 13 blaze iris shows uh, next scene simple shooting conditions uh, bokeh you may see the same more or less sharpness more or less the same except helios 44 shows a, a bit more of sharpness it's visible here next scene uh, I would say difficult conditions so this is Helios 44 13 blade series this is Helios 44 2 so you can see the uh, difference in contrast rendition as well another scene uh, also difficult uh, conditions uh, so as you may see here helios 44 13 blades how it performs and helios 44 2 uh, bokeh is more or less the same swirly, swirly bokeh you may see here sharpness let's see Mm, I would say just the same I do not notice really big difference in sharpness in this photo another scene Helios Helios 44 13 blades iris uh, here we have it yes here and helios 44 uh, 2 here yes exact so as may, you may see here uh, the sharpness here is better you see the fine details uh, helios 44 13 blades makes draw it draws it better i would say Helios 44 13 blades and Helios 44 2 lens. Next scene. Please take a look at this scene. Uh, it shows how lens performs at distances near to infinity and when it they are stopped down to f at point f at eight. So this is helios 44 13 blades and this is helios 44 2 uh, when i zoom the images i just can't say really the difference between these two images and please notice here uh, there is no chromatic aberrations and neither helios 44 13 blades nor helios 44 2 uh, do not show uh, chromatic aberrations in this photo and sharpness is pretty good uh, color rendition is nice uh, pleasant and overall performance is excellent let's let's move to another photo um, uh, here so uh, Helios 44 13 blades and Helios 44 2 in 
also in just a little bit difficult uh, light conditions mm. a light is coming from left corner from here and uh, you can assess by yourself how uh, the lenses are performing Helios 44 13 blades and Helios 44 2 uh, 13 blades iris and this is Helios 44 2 uh, this is also at wide open uh, pleasant bokeh uh, decent sharpness uh, nothing to say about the pictures are talking by by themselves just contrast as you may see a little bit can be fixed easily in post processing please Take a look at the test charts. Helios 44, Helios 44.2. We will assess the sharpness, uh, vignetting, and distortion every lens shows. So let's zoom in. As you may see, Helios 44 shows a better sharpness compared to Helios 44.2. Center sharpness is very good and on at the edges it becomes more or less bad. Please note this test chart is shoot at wide open. Uh, what else I could say? There is no visible vignetting and very light or very, or very light to none of uh, distortion i can't see i can see i would say i can see distortion here uh, let's move to another scene uh, here we will have the same test chart but with lens stop down to four Helios 44, Helios 44.2. Let's take a closer look. When lens is top down, uh, I don't see any difference in sharpness in the center. At the edges, it's much better, except the Helios 44.2 perform worse. Helios 44 shows better sharpness on the edges when, st when stopped down. You can see it by yourself. Here edge you may see. Very good and here is worse. Uh, no vignetting and no distortion. My personal opinion about these two lenses, the performance. I didn't notice a really great difference between between two these lenses, just just few points, because of I think the better coating of older version. But again, if it's not damaged of scratches, but if you get a pre a good copy of Helios 44 13 blades iris it shows better uh, performance in mm, difficult light conditions for it's just for counter like or flares it handles better it makes better contrast uh, it makes better colors and slightly better sharpness at wide open but not just not a big difference i would say and uh, also this one is better because of bokeh of bokeh shape the tin blades iris forms quite regular um, 
hole here as you may see and it results in in much more pleasant bokeh round bokeh without any octagons hexa uh, octagons sorry uh, on the second plan as a bokeh shape but the minus of this lens is of course price and uh, because it's sometimes very maybe three times more expensive this this one and also it's hard to find a good copy because here for example you see it is polished aluminium because I polish lenses for my customers to make it look normally but very often there is a there are some black the ox black signs of oxid aluminium oxidation and so on so on and of course this lens uh, very often comes with very stiff focus ring because of old grease so this lens need often to be relubricated in order to work properly and uh, this is Retro Photo House we are working for you uh, for your satisfaction if you are looking for tested and adjusted lenses for example like this ones adjusted for Nikon with infinity focus you can visit my eBay store thank you for your attention. Goodbye.